Hello and welcome to what's game number three of today because I keep getting cheaters and ranked because this game sucks. Now, I do actually love this game, but the fact there is a ton of cheaters, it's making it, it nearly impossible for me to actually uh, do my job and teach you guys how to play the game. So unfortunately, we'll have to divert to standard for the day because I don't have too much time and this is this is the best you're going to get. Just got out of another game where the other team called me boosted because I got cheaters on my team, which is part of the solo queue life. You can get cheaters on your team or the other team, but that doesn't make it fun. It still makes the game as boring as hell and I couldn't wait for it to end. So let's get into some standard and let's learn to play some seed. We'll brighten up the day. Should be fine. Shouldn't be any cheaters here. And if there are, well, I guess enjoy the cheater montage. All right, here we are on Outback. We're on the defense. There's obviously no bans because it's standard, but we can still strategize. We can still think about how to play this game a little bit better, and we can still learn something. Laundry, it's basically the go-to site. I'm fine with laundry. I'm fine with party. I'm fine with bedroom. I don't really play mechanic. I would be fine with that too. I honestly don't think the site matters too much as long as you add pressure and play smart, then you should be fine. Now, there is a few different entrances into this site. So I think Malusi would be a great pick here. Um, but I think we've played Malusi quite a bit. So let's try something different. Let's do like, let's do Thorn. No, let's do, yeah, let's do Thorn. Why not? We have the Thorn Traps for information along with the barbed wire. So Thorn does have a lot of info. Uh, plus she has a really good gun. It does a lot of damage. So if you're not maybe the best aimer in the world or you're just a body shot machine or you just play on console because it's a lot harder to hit headshots on there, then... Thorn's like, she's decent. She's okay. Her gadget is not the best, and the, the information from it is a little bit, like, delayed. But bomb. her gun makes up for it a little bit, and she's quick and fun and whatever. She's fine. She's, like, a fine pick. There's not really any operators that are going to really, like, lose you the game. But there are operators oh, that will increase your chances. I just think that picking those operators is best when you're trying to counter the other team. So some operators are better for countering the other team, whereas Thorn is better for just, like overall general information right now i'm gonna throw i'm gonna go shoot this drone because getting rid of their info is gonna be good for us i put some barbed wire here with a thorn trap that way when they hop in this window they either have to push through the barb real slow while trying not to get killed or turn around and hop back out um, and if they just stand there obviously they're gonna die so it's just you're forcing them to make a choice you're forcing them to act and if they don't act they're dead and that's just a good way to make them mess up before you do essentially and I also like this thorn trap on the bathroom here. Probably gonna put it like this. That way they might not see it, but it will go off as they hop in and it'll cover even this side. So if they come around the corner, it probably will get them too. I'm not a big thorn player. I don't play her too much, so I don't know, but that might be worth trying. We got this guy bull, so I'm actually gonna get over here to get ready contested if he hops in. And it looks like they're clearing over on this opposite side pretty heavily. And nothing over here. So it looks like they're probably not going for main breach. They're probably only pushing this way. So if I push over now, I'm going to be pushing into a fleet of them. Because I'm pretty sure there's a guy outside this window. They're also inside bathroom. So just got to be careful not to get wall banged. I'm going to go play by the B-bomb, I think. Oh. He was unfortunately holding that angle. Which I was going to try to get this head glitch and maybe get a little aggressive angle. But it did not pay off. So I got slammed. 2v5. Hopefully, my teammates can be aggressive here. Yo, there's two in bull. Two in bull, Mozzie. One's coming behind you. He's flanking behind you. Okay, he's not behind you, Mozzie. Behind you. Doesn't know what behind him means. Okay, interesting. Alright, so teammates not listening. It's fine. No point calling in anymore. Got shot in the back. What do you know? Um, We got two in games and then one in bull. We got another one in there. You can revive yourself. Honestly, Cade could win this. He knows where they're both at. One's in Picnic. He's about to walk into the into the B site. He walked into site. Just going to call for him so he knows where they're at. If he is listening, he might not be, but I'm still going to call in case he is. Wait, I can't see them anymore. One's in game still and one walk through the site. So ideally, Cade pushes up while they're in the bomb site because otherwise they're going to plant and now he has to retake and he's just giving himself less time. If he starts retaking before they plant or as they're planting, then not only does he have more control and he's able to take the control when it's only a one-on-one -on -one because one guy is planting, but it also just gives him, it gives him more space and more time after the bomb is planted because you only have a certain amount of time. You kind of have to push once the bomb's planted. So if you can push a little bit before, you can take your time a little bit more uh, with it there. Now, I honestly think we should go party since we got absolutely destroyed on laundry. Doesn't really seem like my teammates are hearing me though, so it's probably worth just 
going with the flow. I guess we're going laundry, and I'm going to have to do something to counter them. They went windows heavy. Frost could be good here. They also pushed across, so cap can could work. I can even hit a, like a cav Heidi rat play. But I'm going to do the cap can. I, I love cap can. I think he's just he's good for if people don't drone very well. I don't think they droned a lot. I didn't see a lot of drones on the cams. It looked like they kind of just walked across the map. Now, they might be checking the doorways. They might not. I might get a kill. I might not. But even if I don't with the traps, they Protect give me the info, bomb. they apply pressure, they make them have to do something. Again, you're making the other team have to act. And uh, a lot of the time people are just a little lazy about it and will run right through them. I'm going to do two on this door. This way if they get down, I can collect my kills. And I'm going to do three somewhere else on this other side of the map. Okay, Mozzie got that. Mozzie got that. Nice. You can see they're just tossing all the drones in off the start, which means they're probably not going to have a lot of info when the round is actually going because of the fact that they've lost so many drones early on. Now, this would be a great door drone, for the cap cans because they're probably not going to cross the doorway before walking through here. And they're probably not going to actually look down at this door. So what's going to happen is they're going to come in. They're going to be looking like this, maybe looking like this, and then boom, they're dead. Oh, did not mean to take it off. Put that back. And I want to just shoot a couple drones if I can before this point. I'll barricade this to hide them a little better. You can see there's a little nub now. They're coming in garage. I think he's probably coming in this window. I'm going to pre-rip this C4. And when he hops in, I'm going to C4 him. Nice nade. Now they could come up the stairs on me. I'm gonna hide from this drone if I can. I can't. Now if he hops in, he's dead. Like this is an angle I just can't lose. Could walk up the stairs, but they don't have any sound cover going on. I think I'm okay right now. Just gonna keep holding. Might have to rotate off soon and might even be careful of like them coming from my right side. They come from all the way top shark. They come from the all the way to top shark. Honestly, they deserve it. Don't play this too aggressive. Just the passive angle. I don't need to look out the window. I just need to work, like catch him if he hops in. Now I've solved quite a bit of time. I can probably leave. Again, I have these cap can traps. Just sprinting past the window. That'll be alright. Maybe like that so they don't have info off of it. I gotta help the site. They're getting pieced up. That window's not open, so we're kinda chilling. Bobbing up and down off this is not bad. I have the Malusi, even if he hops in. Do be careful of yellow if they come up yellow. Or again, hop in dorms. I can also peek this window from here if I need to. This is not bad, because if I see him hop in, I can just shoot him through the wall. Swapping mugs. And I have the Malusi to shoot off of as well. Careful, this guy hopping in the other window. Cap can trap should be covering my back pretty well, along with this mozzie, so I don't really need to worry about it. You know what to do. This is a little overly aggressive, but it again, there we go, could get me to pick. I probably didn't need to again. Probably could have waited, but I just want to take action. I want to, I want to get that pick before my teammate's side, before it's too late, right? Before this guy hops in. You know, he's inside there, kid. Another one. Four remaining. I'm gonna run up, get the double, the double pinch. I hopefully, don't get C4 would by my teammate. Remaining. Good discipline on the teammate for not C4ing me. Thank you, sir. And again, because this guy is shooting at my teammate, it's a perfect opportunity for me to get aggressive because then we have a crossfire. If I sit there and wait, he kills my teammate. Now it's like he has just a one-on-one -on, -one on me. You don't want to give him one-on-ones. -one you want to give him two-on-ones. That way, when he's shooting someone, you're shooting him. Or when he's shooting you, your teammate's shooting him, right? Because he can't shoot two people at the same time when they're coming in from 90-degree opposite directions, right? Right, right, Pox on Locks, that's right. Give me a right in the comments. Just hit, hit me with the right. Hit me with the, that's right. That's right. Hit me with the, that's right, in the comments, okay? Okay, sounds good. All right, we're on party now. Keeping this wall shot would be good. They could bring a Thatcher, but they might not. I probably won't put my K down on the wall until after the round starts. That way, if they do see it, they don't see that there's, like, a K claw on it. They might drone me out. They might not. I might try to K trick if they, uh, they, if they are going for the breach. That way, if they do have the Thatcher and they don't double EMP, I'm going to get the wall, which might not make any sense to you if you're newer to the game, but it's uh, it's just, it's just a very easy way to like break Harpy Chargers. Basically, you throw one down. When they EMP it, you throw another one down, and if they don't throw a second EMP, this one's going to activate before their Harpy goes off, and you're going to destroy it. So 
it's a cool it's a cool little trick that's definitely worth um, worth knowing because it will it'll help you quite a bit um, against the Thatcher against Thatchers who are unaware of the double EMP strategy. Could make some holes here to watch the stairs. I'm, I'm probably not going to. Uh, usually I make a rotate here. I'm gonna break some of the glass. Oh, there's no glass on these windows. Never mind. Don't need to. Some windows have glass, some don't. Again. I'm gonna put this down now. Do it at the top. That way Callie can't get it. If Callie gets the wall here, it won't actually break that because it's too far away. Fix up the rotate so I can go through it like this. We don't have any info on this staircase, so I do have to be aware of that. Normally, you've had barbed wire or Malusi or some sort of information on it, then you don't have to actively watch it until you hear that information and gain that information. Like you hear someone punching barb or walking through it or going through the Malusi. So, not having that info, it's important that we commit a person to it now. Otherwise, they could walk up and shoot us in the back. All right, and here's that K trick I was talking about. Hopefully, it doesn't break my Cade. It did not. Okay, nice. I'll th just K-Trick one more time. It's going to keep doing it until my other one resets. And my other one is reset now. Plus, we have the Mute. I'm not sure. I think it was a Thatcher because it lasted so long. So, if he double EMPs next time, he will get both and they'll be able to get the wall. I think I might be able to... I missed my Cade. Good thing Ace was not there and he was not ready. Because now it's too late. There we go. Got the wall again. That's two EMPs. Now he can't EMP trick. So I'm uh, I'm chilling. Lion, Jackal. It may have been, might have been pocket EMPs. Oh, this mirror is insane. The mirror usually I throw the other way because of that exact thing. He just got shot through the window. Now I hear a guy coming out of the stairs. Just keep pre-firing. Just keep shooting. This mirror is absolutely terrifying. I'm gonna break it because it's just they're using it against us because of that window. Oh, I got shot through the door. It was just as bad. Now I don't need to peek this. I'm in. A, we're in a three v three. I could even do this to stop that wall from being open. And once I hear this barricade, then I can pop up and pre-fire it. Do I have to be a little careful of them coming through this doorway? Actually, I don't, because I have the Malusi in that hallway, so I don't actually have to worry about that. The breach is closed. They could come from garage and wall bang me. Would be pretty lucky, unless they drone me. So I really only have to worry about this right now. But if if I want to relieve the pressure off here, I have to take, kill the Jackal. Because right now, essentially, I'm leaving my Mute in a 1v1 over there, and I'm in a 1v1 over here. So if I kill this Jackal, if I if Mute if Mute will listen to me, I'd be like, hey, Mute, let's, like, let's, t let's tag team this dude. We both collapse on this guy. We 2v1 him. Then we 2v1 the other guy. I hear the Malusi going off. Get that pick. There we go. Now the last one is the Thatcher over here. Fifteen seconds left. It's gonna help the mute. I'm not sure exactly where he's at. Ten seconds left. Just need to stay up right now. Five seconds remaining. I may have rotated, so I just have to be a little wary of this side. And he's not there. There we go. Solid round. Solid defenses. Two one on the defense. It's okay. It's out back. It's okay. Um, it's definitely a defender side map. I would say pretty much everything is still pretty heavily defender sided, um, except for maybe like coastline, clubhouse, chalet. They're they're a little more even. All right, we're on the attack now. We lost a teammate. Could go ace. I do think opening up this main wall is very strong, especially since we have the Thatcher. He will probably be there to help. Um, so I, I could do the ace. I love the AK-12. I think it's just a great ace. Is just great overall solo queue in a stack. Nasty gun. Has the aces to open walls, the fastest breaching, right? Um, even if you can't get the wall because it's like catered or whatever, you can still use those Selmas for sound cover, for opening hatches, or for opening castles, or shields, or whatever. So there is a lot of uses for the Selmas, even when you can't get the main breach, because they're quick to throw. You can throw them at range. You can do it safely every time. Um, so he's, very, he's a very risk-averse operator, I would say. The only thing that that is the downside of Ace is you don't have any playmaking, right? Your secondary utility is Claymore, so you're not able to flash in aggressively. You're not able to smoke in aggressively. The aggression is kind of stems from like using the Ace charges to, to as sound cover to be able to push without them hearing you. That's that's the best use I would say for um, the Selmas outside the or the best that's the best use for like 
aggression. Like, that, if you need to be aggressive with them, that's the best way to do it, I would say. And sometimes you don't have any left, so you just have to get in there with AK-12 and win all your gunfights. Which, you know, it's like pretty, you know, some would say it's easier said than done, but with the AK-12, this is going to a freaking beast, dude. Look, laser beam. The laser K-12. I'm a Claymore's door. I like putting it straight into the door. That way, if they rip down the barricade, they instantly die. They don't have the time to peek out and shoot the Claymore. Um, and we'll do, mm, nobody's going to hop out this window. Most people don't. They do hop out the garage window. This is a good one to Claymore. But I don't feel like going all the way over there, so I'm just going gonna, gonna to get the main wall. I like doing the bigger size breaches with the aces by doing two. That way, I can walk through it and don't have to vault through it. Vaulting through it is not ideal. Get my drone away so it doesn't blow up. Now, what do we got? This room's looking pretty much clear. I could actually push in through the breach if I wanted. Nothing yellow. Okay, actually, let's check out laundry. Nothing laundry. I might be able to take walk in the site. Getting sound cover. Is that aggressive play I was talking about? In the site somewhere? I don't need to worry about yellow right now. Where is that guy? He's in the site, back site. Okay. I'm gonna get aggressive on him. That's the power of a drone right there. I know exactly where he's at because I didn't let him see my drone. So he didn't shoot the drone, so he's not gonna move. He doesn't know he got droned. So why would he move? That allows me to make the play onto him. Everyone on my left here. And the last one I believe just killed somebody yellow, so I'm gonna be careful of yellow. Maybe not. No rook armor to grab, too bad. I'll hold this for now until I hear him or get more info. It's even an overly aggressive angle. I can play this even more passive and just pre-fire as I hear him walk through the door. Hear him on my right, I believe. Might be my teammate I'm hearing. He must be yellow at this point. He doesn't have time to be anywhere else. Yep, he came up yellow and went into dorms. So again, another solid round, just using the info, using the Selma for the aggressive play, uh, using the drone without getting the drone destroyed. I think that's something a lot of people miss is like, if you drive your drone all the way to them and they shoot it, you can't guarantee that they're still going to be there. And, mo and if, if, that, if you're that guy that shoots the drone after they drone you, you got to pick a new spot to hide in. Because if that guy even just moves across the room and I'm staring at where I think he is, he's going to shoot me in the side of the head, right? So not letting him know that you got the info on him is very, very strong. And that's something that a lot of players don't do. And a lot of players don't realize even jumping your drone, it's really loud. So you can see when I'm droning him, I'm not even jumping the drone. I'm just driving it up. I see a little glimpse of him. I'm like, okay, I know where he is. He doesn't know that I know. So I'm going to get in there and swing him and pre-fire him. And there you go. There you have it. Smoked. All right. So we're on match point here. I'm, I'm liking the ace. I might as well stick to the ace. Who said supports can't frag out? Uh, I think that's a myth. One of the biggest myths in the game is that support players can't get kills. I think your support players can get tons of kills. I made a full video about that on my on my main channel as well if you want to watch it. Now, I believe they will be party, but they might not. They might go to the same site. They could go to the same site. Do they have a K? They have a K, but we have a Thatcher still. So I think, honestly, I think their counter is to bring the K to stop the ace. But I don't think they realize we brought a Thatcher um, because Thatcher just straight up counters K. Again, they could do the K tricking, but if you do two EMPs, so you throw one EMP, wait like five seconds from the Thatcher, throw another one, that K trick will not work. The second K claw will get disabled, and you won't have time to trick. So, um, yeah, not the best counter strategy, and I think we should be good to just push in again. They do have a rotate this time at least, so their site setup is a little more solid, and the Aruni gates might cause some trouble. Now, I actually am going to go claim with that garage window this time. Oh, am I? I I'm dead. I don't even know where I just got shot from. It's a classic Outback moment. He tried. He tried. Now, I'm going to actually claim more of this. Or if someone hops out there to try and kill us on the breach. And I'm going to claim more of the garage window as well. You just have to be careful. They can hop out and shoot the claymore. If they're good enough. Gotta be careful of the, these windows and stuff. Oh, we switch off Thatcher. Okay, well, there goes our plan. We're gonna have to think of something else because we're not gonna be able to get this ball. Okay. Really nice pre fire by that guy. He almost had me. Wow, I'm dying to people I can't even see right now. 
I'm gonna slow peek this guy and maybe maybe beam him. I'd be able to one tap him. Loading new mag. And that gun is just such a laser. I uh, see my team is up yellow, so I can actually just sprint up here and follow him up because I know he's already up here. He's already cleared this spot. I might actually take deep. Oh, no, I'm not going to take deep anymore. I was going to take deep for that IQ. Could even try to get out and ace this wall. Having this breach is just nice, so we can rotate in and out. But my teammates are deep. Yeah, just give me a sec, Brahma. I can drone him. Droning him in the 2v1 is good, as long as my teammate stays alive. Now, if I drone behind him again, I don't want him to see my drone. He's in the bathroom. Heard him rotate, I think. Close on side door. Ooh, a little sketchy with the drone. I didn't think he could cross all the way like that. I thought I heard him on my right side, so I was a little bit confused. But yeah, important to get off the drone there when you see that he's pushing up. It did, that was a risky spot to drone. If my Bravo was still with me, it would have been a lot safer, but clean game. Uh, hopefully we can play some rank tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Let me know what your uh, favorite part about this video was. Let me know who you want me to play next, because I will play operators if they're suggested. And we'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.